Well, you know, I, I believe that I do have a story for you gentlemen. Why, Bobby, you gotta tell a story. When I was growing up, I always hung around boys a couple years older than me. And uh, this one summer, I was, I don't know, 10 or 11. And we, we, we were doing all the, the normal things that boys in Alabama do. We were fishing, and playing ball, and swimming, and beating off. <laughs> <laughs> but in addition to these activities of an innocent childhood, mine included a lot of talk about this wonderfully elusive something called pussy. <laughs> I wasn't sure exactly what it was, but I knew it was magical and very special because of the way it was spoken about. I was in a whisper. I go through the field saying it to myself. Pussy. 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 <laughs> One day, uh, we was all playing ball out in the broom sage field. And uh, up road, Leroy Tuberville. Now, Leroy was an upstanding delinquent of 12. And, and his shoulders were already broad, and his fingers were stained with tobacco. And Leroy, he parked himself casually by third base, and he went in his pocket, and he pulled out something, and he started throwing it high in the air like that. And I watched him play it cool, with his mysterious jewel going up and down, up and down. I couldn't take it any longer. I had to ask, what's that you got there, Leroy? And everyone fell silent. And Leroy looked at me with that nasty sideways grin. And he said, it's a piece of pussy, Long. My very own. <laughs> well, my face got hot, my breath quickened. There he was with this perfect piece of girl tossing her up in the air. <laughs> and I watched, knowing that I had seen God for the first time, and I wanted her for my very own. But old Leroy popped his treasure between his teeth, jumped on his back, grinning at me, and rode off, leaving us in a cloud of dust and desire. And it was in that tormented haze, at the age of 10, and I dedicated the rest of my life to finding my very own tiny piece of love and wonder that I could carry with me for eternity. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going home. To Florida? <laughs> oh. Now look, be careful. We cannot tear out a single page of our lives, but we can throw the whole book in the fire. George Sand. Now, I thought that would be a hard one. <laughs>